feels. Uh, I want to play something beauty. old. I know. Well, you, you put me in this spot, like right when you play that. Okay, mm -hmm. imagine this. This is a replica of a 1902. Okay, welcome mm -hmm. everybody. Quentin King, Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. And uh, you know, when you're playing that, imagine this in 1902. You know, I mean, think yeah. about that. I've been in the old Martin factory, and it's just amazing. There's like, you know, working. They didn't have power. Like, I mean, there was like, you know. Yeah, like uh, the steam. you know the creek steam yeah and I mean it's <laughs> it's it's cool to think and then you get home at night and you got a fire going and and this was your entertainment this yeah. is what uh, you know you got the ladies playing these in the parlor and it's cool yep. it's really cool so this is a replica of that so this is a double O forty five so forty five is the style. This one's beyond a 45 as far as styling. I mean, you got the the uh, vine inlay there and the mm -hmm. the inlaid uh, like butterfly kind of tortoise pickguard in the in the in the inlaid in the guitar, the headstock. I mean, back in the day that would have been ivory. Yes. Yep. So that is a micarta or some kind of different material, but right. and same with the binding and all that. But can you imagine? I mean. They only made a few of these, but it's even amazing to me that they made a few of them. Well, I mean, given the the amount of effort in in craftsmanship, again, without power tools or all yeah. con modern conveniences. Yeah. Um, the beautiful yeah. Br uh, Brazilian rosewood on the back and sides. It uh, is beautiful. I'm going to do slow roll just because yep. uh, this one. It's this is a gorgeous, gorgeous instrument, but it sounds nice. And what do you? There's probably a special name for this one. Well, the, just the forty-five style is the is the with the inlay on every. Mm -hmm. But know. I'm thinking of the the backstrip. Oh, I don't know what backstrip. The backstrip. It's got the little. I can't tell because I'm really really kind of blind. Uh, looks like red and blue. It's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. But uh, there is just gorgeous part. guitar. It's super cool. Slotted headstock. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, very fancy. This has the fancy Waverly tuners. But. Yeah. Oh, and it, and it plays well. You know, to my hand, it feels like a. I don't know what the width is, but it feels... It's a 1 and 7 eighths. It's a little wider. Yeah, it feels, for those who are yeah. primarily fingerstyle players, or you got big hands, but it feels like it wants to be um, uh, the, the transition from a nylon string player who wants a really high-end uh, yeah. steel string that gives you the spacing that you're used to on traditional classical guitars. Um, just plays really nice. It's got a nice yeah. tone. And it's, it's the volume and tone profile that you expect for this body. But it's got some depth. I know if you wanted to, I wouldn't do it here now. Yeah. But if I bought this and I was entitled to play yes. it how I wanted to, I, I can feel that this guitar would yeah. can be loud if it wants to be. Most people buy these for investment purposes. Yeah. I mean, this one's not your everyday uh, take it out on the road kind of player. Yeah, but this isn't your busking guitar. No. This is five of a hundred. Yeah, five of a hundred. I don't yeah. think they even made more than 20 of these. I'm not, I mm -hmm. don't quote me on that, but I know, it, I think they had higher hopes of how big a run this would be, but mm -hmm. I think that's a lot of work. Even t in today's standards, it's still a lot of work on this guitar. Mm -hmm. Even a 45, if you order a 45 from Martin right now, I mean, it's, you know, if you're going to get anything Brazilian rosewood in a 45 style, you're looking at, it's big money. So yeah. this is kind of neat. It's a, just a neat guitar to see. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, again, um, beautiful, but again, from my perspective, very playable. It's got a yeah. nice appealing tone. It's, I would, if, if I won the lottery, again, I've told yeah. you I'd come in and wipe out most of your inventory. You'd buy but the whole thing. I I'd would build work that for nice you. I would just work for you. Room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, I just line the walls, and this would be the one that you could frequently just pull off because it's so comfortable yeah. and light when you're sitting there watching whatever your Netflix binge or football or sports or whatever, yeah. Mexican soap operas, whatever you're into. <laughs> I this wonder would what be, Quentin's into. No, oh, it's a. Uh, it's you pretty vanilla. Watch those. No, you know what I've been stuck on lately? Two what? things. One is I can't get enough of watching this incredible, and those who are busting on me for my my Crocs. Yeah. Jacob Collier was my inspiration to wear Crocs. If you don't know who Jacob Collier is, go watch him. Any one of his many weird little videos, mm -hmm. one of the most musically talented, far out there geniuses, constantly compared to Mozart for good reason. Okay. I've been diving in him, but the other stuff is I just now I'm watching. Oh, that young guy you showed me. Yeah, he's amazing. I, he is amazing. He's you should check him out. incredible. But, yeah. Um, yeah. And he proudly wears his Crocs. I figured if he can do it, oh, okay. I can do it. Yeah. Um, but the other thing I've been, I'm just YouTube holding um, 
reaction videos. You know, everybody's got reaction channels now yeah. where the, they they react to other pieces like comedy and music, whatnot. So. Yeah. That's how I discovered, given the music I play, you might not be surprised that I wasn't wholly familiar with Eminem's catalog, uh, but I've been recently acquiring a taste for yeah. for Eminem yeah. as a lyricist, incredible yeah. lyricist, and other music, you know, getting exposed to things that... Music's <coughs> fun. It's fun if you get... There's you know, no shortage of right, awesome is, stuff, you true. know? You gotta open your mind. And yeah, been watching a lot of snarky of puppy. Yeah. In addition to old David Greer videos, too, so... How about you? What have you been... Uh... Boy, I, it's all a blur. I don't. I really yeah. don't know. I don't even know what day it is. I yeah. don't know what. Paul's happened. just a working man. You're the last two it. months is all a blur. Mm-hmm. Um, but I listen to music all the time. Yeah. Whatever. My we kids were, have stuff yeah. on. Whatever's on, I'm happy. I know. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I have younger children to keep me not yeah. as old as I would be otherwise, because then they're exposing me to the pop stations and whatnot. Yeah. I'm not yet old enough to say, ah, oh, that's not music. You know that can still listen with an open mind. I don't know how much longer I have that right. capability. True. It could go away. In, at any moment now. Yeah. We're at the age, the, yeah. the cusp. I always go into these Junior Brown modes. I love Junior Brown. <laughs> he, well, he's a, and he's then, a nut. Then I'll go into, like, you know, Van Halen and the old school mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And yeah. I, I go all over the place. Gypsy yeah. Jazz, I'm still into that. Yeah. So, I know. So yeah. That's the beautiful thing about music. There's no There's no shortage. limit. It's great. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, well, we've Quinn. rambled enough here, I think. Yeah, we have. Yeah, beautiful guitar. Yep. Martin, love Check it. it out. Come down to Music Villa. It's a beauty. Come check out the new room. That's where that resides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, cool. everybody. Mm-hmm.